Screenplays. Yeah. yeah. So the best adapted screenplay Oscar went to Black Klansman. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about that? Well, I'm still not... I mean, we did that thing yeah. with Black Klansman, and I'm still sort of of the opinion that it's not, not a great movie. That nigger detective, did you ever... Come on. Did you ever get his name? No. I don't think I... Are uh, you sure you don't know who he is? <clears throat> Are uh, you absolutely sure? Because that nigga, coon, gator bait, spade, spook, sambo, spear chucking jungle bunny, Mississippi wind chime wind detective, chime? is Ron Stallworth, you racist, peckerwood, redneck, inch worm, needle dick, motherfucker. <laughs> oh! Oh! I'll be here all week. <laughs> I still think th that it's it's by far the best movie that Spike Lee's done in years. No. I think that it was interesting. I think that it was the trailer was better than the movie. Mm. Uh, it promised more. And my main problem with it still is I think that that it didn't know whether it wanted to be a drama or a comedy. No. That kind of comedy drama dramedy as mm. they say combination <laughs> yeah. is is really really difficult to pull off and i don't think that that uh, lee pulled it off well enough mm. it was weird that it was it was nominated in 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 so many categories also i think that once we get to supporting actor i think it was weird that uh, that uh, kylo ren was <laughs> was, <laughs> was nominated for his yeah. role as flip because I think that Adam Driver is a young guy. He's a very, very good actor, mm. and he's going to get nominated no. unless something weird happens. He's going no. to get nominations in the future. But I don't think that Flip's character mm. in Black Klansman was anything that special. No, I don't know why they gave him that nomination. Mm. And this is not to take anything away from Adam Driver. I thought that he did the best he could with that role, but I just didn't. I just didn't get it. No. Um, but. Um, Screenplay wise, there was there was competition from the Ballad of Buster Scruggs, which I knew wasn't going to win mm. because the Coens have written much better screenplays. Yeah. And I I enjoyed the movie, but it was a very very I thought it was a very very Cohen light yeah, yeah. kind of thing. Uh, then there was Can You Ever Forgive Me, which I haven't seen, which I'm quite interested in mm. as a movie. They I I don't think. I don't know if it's going to come to Finland. I mean, if it's going to have a cinematic release. But it, it has Richard E. Grant, which, who I'm, I'm a huge fan no. of, and I'm interested in seeing Melissa McCarthy in a role that's not typi a typical mm, Melissa no. McCarthy role. Um, so I can't say much about that. I haven't seen If, a Be if Beale Street Could Talk. Uh, they've said that it's, it's, it's tackling the same issues, sort of like with Moonlight, mm. with this just black experience. No. Uh, Black experience in America coming or trying to survive in a in a in a in an environment where where you're sort of outside of the system mm. anyway, and then you have that racial experience yeah. on top of that. So, um, but but I can't say anything more about that either. And A Star Is Born, I think, is uh, is first of all, it's like the fourth remake, mm. and I don't think much of that movie it's very it's an entertaining movie mm. it's got good music in it but it is a very very basic american story about a, a sort of success story of a mu musician mm. and a downfall story of another no. it's there's nothing there i think screenplay wise that is spectacular mm. so in terms of that competition of what i know I shouldn't really be surprised that yeah. it went to Black Klansman, but I don't think that, that that category this year... It wasn't stacked. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, so how about um, best original screenplay? You went to Green Book. I haven't seen it, but um, that is an interesting movie because there's been a lot of backlash yeah. for it. Yeah. I think we'll go into that more when we get yeah. to the best picture category. But I don't think, I mean, there again, 
Usually every year when I saw I, I see the Oscars, the, the, the movies that interest me the most mm. are the screenplay yeah. uh, 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 nominations. And this year that's been different because also in the original screenplay category there's Vice, mm. which is well written, but again a bit of a, maybe a bit too similar with The Big Short. There's Roma, which I thought screenplay-wise wasn't no, the greatest no. movie. Then there's The Favourite, which I really liked and which I mm. thought, I hoped that would have won. Yeah. Uh, that's really a movie that, that I think people sh should see. Um, and then there's First Re Reformed, which is written by Paul Schrader, who I mean, like wrote Taxi Driver and, yeah. and, and Raging Bull. So. And they've, I haven't seen it, but it's supposed to be really, really good. Mm. I mean, I, I mean se a seriously good yeah. movie. Uh, and I'm hoping to be able to see, see it fairly soon. Mm. Um, but I don't know anything about it. It's, no. it's supposed to be like the, some, some reviewer, I think it was, maybe it was Mark Remote, who said that it's like three movies in one. Wow. That there's like, there's three sort of separate acts and all of the different acts are lot, sort of like different movies. No. And Schrader's really, I mean, he's, he's taught screenwriting in one of the universities around LA and he's been really, really interested in, uh, he reads a lot and he knows a mm. lot about screenwriting. Um, but, but he hasn't done, I think, anything really, really significant in, in, no, a, in a long time. No, what was the movie that he made before this one? I mean, uh, I can't remember. because I have a wake vague memory of it but I just can't remember the name or even what it was about but I think I saw a documentary about him or uh, some documentary that touched upon his life and he's had a weird life yeah 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 I, I'm really I'm really interested in it but in terms of Green Book again and this ties into the best picture category as well but we have to go into it a bit here I think the problem with Green Book is that it's going to be one of those movies that will be a bit forgotten over mm. time. It is a very well-made movie. There's yeah. obvious chemistry between Viggo Mortensen and Mahershala Ali. They're both very good actors. Without them, the movie would be basically quite throwaway. Mm. Um, I don't think that there's anything there. No. And, I mean, that makes it so special. Mm. The only thing that it, it, it is, is that it's been able to sort of create this controversy. Yeah. And because it's sort of, they say it's a whitewashed version of, of, of racial. racial relations. It's yeah. directed by a white guy who uh, directed films like Something About Mary and... Yeah. And just you know, idiot comedies yeah. for a long, long time. And even in, in even in his speeches, when his acceptance speeches, he seemed like he's sort of making fun, and kind of making fun because he's the kind of guy. He's like an easygoing, laid-back yeah. guy. And then there's Spike Lee who storms out because he's so angry that yeah. this white idiot is, is allowed <laughs> yeah. to tackle this issue yeah. of racial race, race relations, and it becomes so inauthentic and stuff like that. Yeah. So. I think it's, uh, uh, I'd be interested to see in like 10 years what people think of Green Book. Mm. I mean, in terms of whether it's a, whether, I think it's going to way, go the way of, of Crash mm. yeah. and Spotlight, mm. like movies that people thought that were really, really important at the time. And then like a year later, they're like, I can't really remember what happened in that movie. Yeah. So. I mean, oh, it's true. I mean, yeah. sometimes the, Biggest awards go to movies that are sort of like safe bets, yeah. in a way. Yeah. That it's but, but, but I think the Green Book is well worth seeing just in terms of watching two really good actors mm. like play off each other. Yeah. I think that Mortensen and Ali are both really, really good. Mm. So, so it's not a bad movie. Yeah. I mean, like for me, Crash was, it wasn't a great mm. movie. Um, and I don't think that Spotlight was a great movie either. Mm. But, but but this is entertaining, yeah. and it's a feel good. It's a feel good movie. It's, yeah. it's, it's a. It's like it's like Shawshank Redemption. Light, 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 light. Yeah. yeah. yeah.